Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of uh, Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a relatively awesome unique item that um, sometimes drops and sometimes doesn't. And, and it's just one of those items that, um, that, you know, if you happen to find it at the right level, it tends to be good for your character. But if you don't happen to find it at the right level, not so much. Um, and that is the Rock Fleece Field Plate. Now, the Rock Fleece, Fleece Field Plate has one of the mechanics that everyone really adores, and that is the Damage Reduced By mechanic. Um, and it's a percentage, not a flat damage value. Um, you can have up to 50% damage reduced by on a character, and uh, this is one of the earliest iterations of damage reduced by um, in the game. And um, when you find this particular piece of equipment, it can be paired along with something like String of Ears for a relatively high amount of damage reduced by percentage. And it also gives you additional damage reduced by, which is pretty sweet. So let's go over this piece of armor together and we'll talk about what it's useful for and uh, who you might want to use it on. So right off the bat there, you see it has a strength, uh, sorry, a defense of 243 with a strength requirement of 50. Uh, relatively low strength requirement for a, uh, for a rather nice plate. Uh, only a level 28 requirement, which isn't too terrible and uh, can definitely come in handy toward the end of normal difficulty. Uh, now, this particular piece of armor does have a variable defense of uh, 100 to 130% enhanced and uh, has plus, plus 5 to strength, which is always nice to have. Um, we have a damage reduced by of 10%, which, like I said, will stack up to 50%. Um, this is the same um, mechanic that works with Amplify Damage. So Amplify Damage will reduce this by 100%, and, uh, and believe it or not, you can actually overprotect yourself versus... Um, amplify damage because it is a negative 100 you would need 150 uh, percent to actually maintain your cap which i'm not really sure is actually possible but it's definitely nice to have a little bit extra to uh to give you a buffer zone against amplify damage's effects uh, we also have damage reduced by five which is going to reduce your uh, the damage incoming uh physical damage by a flat amount and then we have requirements negative 10 percent which is nice because this is a, a higher tier armor in the normal difficulty and when we upgrade it the the uh the uh, strength requirement is going to go up very very high so it's definitely nice to have uh, the negative requirements on there even if it is only negative 10 percent now we do have um, an ethereal version here with us as well and uh unfortunately my uh my editing prowess does not give me the uh the ability to edit in ethereal items correctly so uh, but when we upgrade it it will fix itself but we're going to run the numbers on this and i'm going to give you the ethereal damage uh, that is the ethereal defense correctly so uh basically a, a uh, field plate around this level has a defense of about 103 with a bonus of 50 percent ethereal uh, which is going to make it a 154 defense plate um, and then we add the plus 130 percent bonus which will make it a 355 defense plate so ethereal 355 which is actually very high for level 28 um, and uh, and as we upgrade this i think you will see that um it's actually pretty sweet. Now, the ethereal version, of course, would come in really handy for a mercenary, and that damage reduced by and the damage reduced by percentage are definitely very nice for him. Uh, the plus five strength will also make it a little bit easier for him to equip his uh, his ridiculous uh, polearm weapons, which sometimes have a very, very high strength requirement. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll upgrade these two and uh, let's see what kind of uh, stats we get. So um, they are normal difficulty plates, so we are going to need Shale Tal uh, for the first upgrade, which is relatively easy. Uh, the first upgrade is probably a very, very cheap upgrade that most people can afford. Um, so Shale Tal Perfect Diamond. Uh, on the normal difficulty plate, we're going to go from 243 defense, 50 strength, and level 28 requirement to a 584 defense, 93 strength, 33 requirement on the level. As you can see, that's actually a pretty solid upgrade. The level did not rise very much. The uh, strength requirement really didn't even go up that much. And uh, the defense went way up. So a very solid upgrade for the Rock Fleece Shark Tooth Armor uh, from the Rock Fleece Field Plate. 
Now let's upgrade the ethereal version and let's see what kind of defense we get from here. So it's a 40 strength level 28 requirement and that goes to 834 defense, 83 strength requirement and a level of 33. Now early on when Diablo 2 Resurrected first launched, I actually managed to find myself an ethereal shark tooth armor and uh, and I immediately upgraded it and put it on my mercenary because the ethereal shark tooth armor is a extremely solid base for a, uh, a mercenary early on. If you are um, participating in a ladder or a fresh restart, or maybe you're doing solo cell found, and you happen across an ethereal shark tooth armor, it makes an excellent early game mercenary armor until you find yourself something better. Now let's upgrade this a uh, second time to the hell difficulty version. And for that, we are going to need uh, Ko Rune, and we are going to need Lem, runes uh, which i'm pretty sure we have chevrolet let lemme runes let me let me let me can't you see uh i have some on my view let's go grab them all right so let's do the uh the first armor the uh, non-ethereal version first and we're going to put our lem co and our perfect diamond in there with this armor and um, we're going to go from 584 defense, 93 strength requirement, and a level of 33 to a 1037 defense, 157 strength requirement uh, with a level of 73. So quite a large bump from level 33 to 73. Definitely not something that you would want to do unless you specifically had a use for it. Now let's take a look at the ethereal version, which I feel like will be a lot better. Uh, so the ethereal version is going to go from 834 defense, 83, with a level 33 requirement, to 1,497 defense, 147 strength, and level 73. Now, I feel like the ethereal version is actually a relatively cheap early option for a... Uh, a mercenary. If you have not found a decent armor for your mercenary yet, or you have not uh, found the correct runes to put on your mercenary, or whatever is going on, um, maybe you haven't found the correct base for your treachery. Um, this is actually a absolutely easy armor to make. Lem runes and co runes are not particularly rare. And, uh, and if you happen to have an ethereal rock fleece, the t damage reduced by 10% combined with the strength and the, um, the negative requirements actually make this a fairly decent armor. And if you're trying to get a Colossus Vulch, which is fairly common, an Insight Colossus Vulge on your Mercenary, and the Insight Colossus Vulge is costing you 200 strength to put this on him. Um, that extra 5 strength could come in handy and be the difference between him not being able to wear it and maybe he is. Um, now what would you put in the socket if you did particularly plan to socket this? Well, since you're probably going to put this ethereal version on a mercenary, I would recommend a shale rune for the faster hit recovery. Um, if you were going to put this on an actual player, you might want to augment this with something that is going to help your offensive nature. Like for instance, maybe a 15% IAS jewel. Um, I'm not really sure if I have any of those just laying around, but um, wouldn't necessarily be a bad choice. I just don't really recommend doing the, um, the regular version to Tier 3. However, the Ethereal version to Tier 3 is not exactly a terrible choice. But uh, I feel like the first tier upgrade on the Rock Fleece is a no-brainer. It, it barely increases the level requirement, and uh, it, it honestly barely increases the strength requirement. And, uh, and it is a perfect plate for a, uh, a lower-level Merc. Um, by the time you get into the 80s and stuff like that, you should be whipping out some much better pieces of a gear for your Mercenaries. Although, you know, 1,497 defense with 10% DR is not exactly terrible. Um, all in all, um, this particular piece of armor can be used by a lot of different characters. Um, I, I would recommend this for any character that's getting in there in the thick of it on a regular basis. Uh, the damage reduced by and the damage reduced by percentage is going to help a lot, as well as the relative high defense on this is going to help a lot if you're in there getting beat up. So paladins who are zealing or vengeancing, um, you know, barbarians who are frenzy uh, barbarians or whirlwind barbarians. Uh, maybe you're a druid. Um, who is in there as a shapeshifter or a bear. It's a solid choice. Um, even if you are a melee assassin, like a Kixin or a, uh, a martial arts assassin, which hopefully is um, is something that, um, that you guys will be doing um, more in the future as they fix these skills. And... Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a relatively nice 
side of the assassin, which could be explored better. I do hope they, uh, they managed to fix it quite well. Um, there's really not a lot more to say about this armor. It doesn't have a lot of like super special mechanics like open wounds or crushing blow or anything like that. It's just a very strong defensive armor. Um, it just has lots and lots of, uh, of defense. It has lots and lots of damage reduction. It has lots of damage reduced by percentage. And, uh, and its purely defensive nature makes it absolutely excellent for a mercenary to help keep your mercenary alive. And, um, I mean, you could even use this on a caster class if you wanted to with its relatively low strength requirement um, and its, its high defensive capability. Um, it could just simply help keep you alive. I always love the way the armor sounded when you clicked on them. <laughs> anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.